Greetings, fellow mathematicians. In our fifth example, we're going to take a look at the tricky or exceptional case to choosing the form of your particular solution with the method of undetermined coefficients. Now, this example is why I always advocate to first find the complementary solution. So let's go ahead and do that. So we solve the homogeneous ODE, where the right hand side is zero, y double prime plus y prime minus 6y equals zero. Convert that to the characteristic equation, r squared plus r minus 6 equals zero. And I believe we can factor that as r plus 3 times r minus 2. And that gives us two real values. Looks like we get r as negative 3 and r as 2. Each of those values gives us an exponential function. So we can write down our complementary solution, c1 times e to the negative 3x plus c2 times e to the 2x. And be careful here, notice your complementary solution here contains a term that is identical to the right hand side. Now, let's just point out what this right hand side, that g of x, would indicate to us for our first choice for the particular solution. So if we go now to finding the particular solution, as usual, start with the non-zero right hand side, which is e to the 2x. That is a simple exponential function. So we might try as our particular solution a simple exponential function, but with an arbitrary constant in front, a times e to the 2x. Now we don't have to go through any work if you realize a times e to the 2x is the same thing as this, just with c2 replaced with a. Now, this is a solution to your homogeneous ODE, which means if you were to plug yp and its derivatives into the non-homogeneous ODE, you're going to get the right-hand side to come out to 0, not e to the 2x. That is because this duplicates what we have in our complementary solution. So this choice doesn't work, our fix is we take our initial choice and multiply it by a factor of x for each term that's duplicated. Here we only have one term being duplicated, so we just need one factor of x. We're going to try yp as ax times e to the 2x. And that right there, that's the tricky part, just making sure you understand why this choice for the particular solution doesn't work, but this one does. So let's go ahead and get to the rest of the work. We're going to calculate the first and second derivatives of that particular solution and then plug it back in here. Just be careful, that factor of x that we introduced, we're going to have to use the product and chain rules to differentiate that. But that should be very straightforward. So let's find the first derivative. Apply the product rule. We'll get a times e to the 2x. And when you differentiate e to the 2x, you'll get a factor of 2. All right, and it looks like I can clean that up a little bit. I can factor out the exponential terms and write this as 2ax plus a times e to the 2x. And we're going to go ahead and differentiate this again using product and chain rules. So differentiate the first part. Looks like we get 2a 
times e to the 2x. And when you differentiate the second fu function, you'll get another factor of 2. So 2 times 2ax plus a and times e to the 2x. Now, this one, we can again factor e to the 2x out from everything. And if we distribute that 2, looks like what we have is 4ax. And then what are your like terms, the constants without x? We have 2a and another 2a. So that should be 4a. All right, and that's your second derivative term. We have everything we need to plug it into the non-homogeneous ODE. So yp double prime plus yp prime minus 6yp. And we want that to come out to equal e to the 2x. And if we plug all this in, we have our second derivative right here. So we have 4ax plus 4a times e to the 2x. We go to now our first derivative term, which we simplified over here. So 2ax plus a. times e to the 2x. And we go to now the function term minus 6 times our yp. So we get minus 6 ax e to the 2x. And we want that to come out to equal e to the 2x. All right, from here, we should be able to simplify and cancel some terms out, combine some like terms. Can we see any that just completely cancel? Well, I'm looking at the ax terms, and what I notice is I have 4ax, 2ax times the exponential, minus 6ax times the exponential. This term, 2ax, and that one cancel completely, and it looks like what survives is 4a times the exponential plus a times the exponential. So 4a and a gives you 5a times e to the 2x. And that should equal the right-hand side e to the 2x. Now what we're equating on both sides are coefficients of the exponential term e to the 2x. And on the left side, your coefficient is 5a. And your coefficient of the exponential on the right side is 1. And we can solve that very easily. We get a as 1 over 5. And that takes care of our particular solution in the case where your initial choice for the particular solution duplicates one of the terms in your complementary solution. As always, let's write down our solution to the non-homogeneous ODE, which is always your complementary solution c1 e to the negative 3x plus c2 e to the 2x. And now we add to that our particular solution. We included that factor of x due to the duplication. We found a is 1 over 5. So it looks like we get plus 1 fifth x e to the 2x. Now this was a tricky example I always usually include at least one example like this in the written homework assignments and the exams dealing with undetermined coefficients. Again, it's not to trick or fool my students, but 
is to make sure that you are fully prepared for your science, engineering, and upper level mathematics courses. And this does come up, the duplication part, enough that you should be aware of it. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Hopefully you understand what happens here, why we included that factor of X. If you enjoy the content, support the channel, like and subscribe.